Oh, yeah! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to The Fringe. Justin Trudeau can't seem to stop putting his foot in his mouth. I know we talk about Trudeau a lot here on the channel, but with the breaking news that not only a mutiny has been started within his party's walls, that uh, MPs are resigning left, right, and center, and that Justin Trudeau is essentially running for the hills as he fights to prorogue Parliament to avoid being ousted into an election faster than next year, more rumors are speculating uh, amongst how the party is trying to hold it together. But where Justin's making a big mistake right now, and one thing I want to focus on in this video is that uh, when we go back a couple weeks ago, when you look at um, what happened with uh, Mark Gerritsen, when he called out um, content creator, uh, social influencer, I guess you could say Cat Canada, on social media, on Twitter, formerly known as X, when we were discussing the tenant media situation, that uh, people were taking money from uh, Russian actors, I guess. Um, Mark Gerritsen, of course, accused Cat Canada of being a Russian plant and taking Russian money to the form where, again, we covered it here on the channel where Cat was told, um, or Cat, sorry, sued them or threatened to sue the government for defamation of character. Um, Essentially, Gerritsen had to apologize. He had to make a donation to a charity of Cat's choice uh, for defaming her, uh, and, he, and he shoved his foot in his mouth. And now Justin Trudeau is doing the same thing when we look at the public inquiry for election interference. Uh, Justin Trudeau has now uh, shoved his foot in his mouth even further by spreading more defamation against people, now more powerful people than Cat Canada that definitely have lawyers, I can tell you that. Uh, let's take a look at Jasper, Mr. Sunshine Baby's tweet here that breaking Justin Trudeau's lawyer is now claiming that the Freedom Convoy was part of Russian propaganda and foreign interference. We all know that that happened during the Freedom Convoy. Remember CBC coming out saying it's all Russia, Russia, Russia. I mean, everybody kind of laughed because this was the Trump, uh, road that they were taking by saying it's all, you know, Russian actors. It's, it's, it's paid Russian interest. Uh, Jasper writes, because the convoy started one day before the war between Ukraine and Russia, the Canadian government is now claiming that the convoy is and was linked to Russia. I don't know about you guys, but anybody who was involved in that that's currently under persecution, prosecution, Chris Barber, Tamara Leach, many others, Pat King, um, to be told that they're connected and linked to Russia without any significant proof, uh, that's defamation. And Justin Trudeau is going to bury himself in that one uh, as not only that, but he's come out and now accused good friend of the channel, friend of mine, Dr. Jordan B. Peterson, <laughs> saying that he's a Russian, apparently. Uh, Rebel News reporting out, Trudeau claims Dr. Jordan Peterson and American journalist Tucker, Tucker Carlson are funded by Russian state broadcaster RT while testifying at the Foreign Interference Commission. <laughs> I mean, Jordan Peterson obviously tweeting out, hey, Russians, uh, where the hell's my money? Justin Trudeau strikes again, whiffing at a foul ball. Um, I can tell you right now, Dr. Peterson has an amazing legal team. He's also backed by outlets like um, uh, like, like Ben Shapiro and, and those guys. I, I mean, he, he has connections. He's able to go after the government. He has the funding and, and the capital. Um <laughs> to go to go after Justin Trudeau, um, even through the Daily Wire. It, it's unbelievable right now. I, I'm going to play the clip of what Justin Trudeau said and see if uh, you guys can understand just what the heck is going on here just as much as I can. Uh, let's take a listen. Uh, oui, on a, on a vu que des messages de uh, anti-vax uh, de pendant le, le convoi et, et, et pendant la pandémie uh, qui ont été amplifiés par uh, la propagande russe, particulièrement dans... So again, he's speaking in French. I'll just read the the, um, the subtitles because again, they're, they're blocked out at the bottom here. Uh, we saw anti-vax messages during the convoy and during the pandemic that were amplified by Russian propaganda, particularly in the right-wing media. These messages continued from the same people who shared uh, anti-jab messages. Uh, then he goes on to say, now to say that there weren't people who were legitimately and authentically anti-jab in Canada, uh, but it was greatly amplified by Russian propaganda. Um, and once Ukraine was invaded, we saw many of these channels shift to pro-Putin propaganda. Uh, we see, and as I mentioned, we recently saw that RT is funding right-wing 
bloggers and YouTube personalities in North America. Again, no proof of that. Um, aside from what they claim, um, two, I guess you could say journalists are supposedly allegedly doing, um, Lauren Southern and Lauren Chen. I have yet to see proof of it, but again, if they claim it's there, um, but that doesn't mean everybody is, um, <laughs> I love how they always say right wing. They, they have to point that out. Um, it says including well-known names like Jordan Peterson, Tucker Carlson to amplify messages that destabilize democracies. I mean, that's a pretty bold statement coming from Justin Trudeau. Uh, <laughs> if I was Tucker Carlson, if I was Dr. Jordan Peterson, um, without any documentation or proof on those things, I would be coming for Justin Trudeau immediately with my legal teams for slander, for um, defamation of character. Uh, this very humorous, when you think again back to Mark Gerritsen with Cat Canada, having to immediately delete his tweets, apologize, uh, donate funds to avoid getting sued in court, um, I know Justin Trudeau usually doesn't care about these things because essentially if he goes to court, that's Canadian taxpayers' money going to work against his legal bills. But I think a statement needs to be made here. And I think people like Jordan Peterson or Tucker Carlson, of course, should look into what ramifications they can take against Justin Trudeau for uttering that kind of speech, not necessarily because it defames them. If anything, they're just going to shrug it off and laugh. But for the, for the little guys, for the YouTubers and content creators that are constantly censored online, told they can't speak about things, but Justin Trudeau can just put words in their mouths. He can uh, call them extremists. He can say that they're funded by uh, Russians. Uh, you name it. I think it's time maybe he gets a little bit of what's coming to him in the state of people putting him in his place for using his words, for throwing him out there. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments if you think Jordan Peterson and Tucker Carlson should lawyer up at this point and go after Trudeau. If it's your first time here, I hope this video has earned your subscription. Make sure as you're clicking that button, you hit the bell for notifications. Join me live here on the channel each and every Friday night for Friday Night Fringe, my live streaming show, where I sit down with you, the viewer, and my beautiful wife, Mrs. Fringe, as we go over everything that's happened this week in politics, everything we know that's coming up in the week ahead, and some back and forth within the community. It's always great to hear what you guys have to say outside of making these videos, and I always look forward to chatting with you guys each and every Friday night, starting at 6 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Central, right here on Unacceptable Fringe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you on the next one.